Hi everybody. Hi everybody. Today we are reviewing the VTech Paw Patrol Pups to the Rescue Driver. And uh, we're um, going to compare what's the difference between this one, which is VTech. What is this? Um, Paw Patrol. Uh, learning Watch. It's a learning watch. So, you know, like if you guys can relate, have um, like toddlers, like how much they love to collect each and every um, toys Patrol from Paw Patrol. Yeah. But, you know, as a parent, and uh, like as what we put in our description, that this vlog is dedicated for uh, parents' tips and reviews, and, you know, like not that we cannot, you know, buy each and everything. So, we are going to show you which product between the two of this it's better yeah and what it does and uh so on the box for the um driver it's a three-in-one drive-in h tv hovercraft and snowmobile modes uh it teaches memory colors counting and daily, daily life. life and for this one for the watch uh, it said it has 12 clock phases, alarm clock, cuckoo clock, so basically all the kinds of clocks, I guess. And then it has four games, which like, you know, there's basic and, and difficult and all of those things. And then it teaches uh, matching, animals, addition and subtraction, and problem solving. So stay tuned, we're going to unbox it and we'll let you know, like, what all this product is about. They are both from BTEC, by the way. Uh, okay, we're back. Okay, we're back for, for the, the reviews. reviews of Pups to the Rescue Driver and um, Paw Patrol Learning Watch. Okay, okay so, so I'll start off with Pups to the Rescue Driver. It basically has a handle. You can go to I'll uh, turn it on so there's an off and on switch which is awesome because uh, sometimes some toys don't have that and you can move the steering wheel to a different um, I can turn it off for now um, so you can hear me okay so you can turn the steering wheel to different characters or you can push it yes like here oh and um, also there's different lessons that you can do uh, matching and missions and things like that uh, three categories there's um, a horn over here and lights and also that's a shortcut to do a mission and there's a also signal lights over here um, I find this pretty cool you can go um, the volume control from low medium to high which is awesome if you have a another toddler or a kid in the house and they're sleeping then you can turn it on low and um, also these mirrors this is the cool, the cool you, part you can adjust it yeah so like when our son is playing with it like he really enjoy this way because it he it makes him feel that he's really driving like changing mm -hmm. the um the mirror the side, rear, rear yeah. mirrors and um he plays with it in the car yeah. and he feels like he's actually driving yes okay. so yeah so this is um for the price this one is oh, um, 34 yeah. 34 99 yes like yes and i would say uh, this is like my son really uh use this almost every day wherever you know so with this watch it has the the life laugh that you know you can uh, you can do it it looks like a real you know like the apple watch for for the kids however the thing that i don't like about it and my son didn't enjoy about it is this one the uh the band it's not that tight that it's so hard to fit in his wrist to find the um, the right hole for the size of his wrist and so therefore it keeps falling mm -hmm. so like really he he didn't really enjoy um uh playing with this and as for the price it's like 1999 and which do most of 
what you can do with with this with this toy. Yes. The only difference with this is it teaches uh, math, like subtraction, addition, and things like that. And um, the, and the cool thing about it is that there is a game that uh, you can match certain object to certain uh, Paw Patrol character. And I guess that's that's how that's what he likes about it. But otherwise, he really did not enjoy this particular uh, toy. So yeah, so and I, I already mentioned this is 19.99, and I guess our point is that you know it's all Paw Patrol, and there's so many Paw Patrol out there. And as a parent, we have to know, and um, we have to decide, I guess, which one. It's worth our money and uh, the kids can enjoy and we like, you know, buying and stuff like that is it's worth it. So for us, this one is more like we enjoy, enjoy this a lot. We, it's, I think it's worth the money, especially if you can get it on sale. And um, and yeah, that's and, it. And um, because I had this off, I'll just show you quickly the sounds it'll make. Yeah. It's really almost uh, similar to the show. No job is to rubble. So you can press rubble. Rubble is always ready to dig in. And then the chase. Chase is on the case. Okay. Right. So that's this example of two. So let's do. We need to a make sure the pups are able to receive our messages. Will you help me call the pups? Press rubble to call him. Rubble. Awesome. Awesome. Rocky, so it's him. very interactive and uh, kid-friendly jokes. Yeah. And there's a lights light. Off. Lights on. And the the voice is like it's real. Like I mean, it's coming it's, from the actual characters yes. themselves. Right. And I guess the thing about this one also is, is the, the the screen is too small and it's so fast it, it goes so fast mm -hmm. and that's why he didn't really enjoy it so so yeah that's it for that review. review and i hope um it helps you guys when it comes to um deciding which toy and uh which toy is better for you which fits your uh needs and something like that and i hope you guys uh learn something from it and thank you so much for watching our first video the jenga yes. um we really appreciate it. We didn't even um, expect that somebody's going to watch it. So thank you, everybody. Thank Bye. You. Till next vlog. Bye. Bye.